Hey guys, it's Shannon from Shanta's Workshop and today I'm going to be working on a super easy way to do what looks like a peekaboo with the double-sided adhesive. I already have my template cut out. It's going to be a leopard print. If you can see it. Um, and this is the Benecrate paper from Amazon. It, right now it is my favorite to use easy to apply is sticky and it just gets the job done so this template is a seamless template so the spots in the back will all line up as long as we get our paper on straight and this can be found on my Etsy shop Shanta's workshop on Etsy if you'd like to try this all right so first thing we need to do is apply this to the tumbler. Get my, get my tape ready. Just a couple of pieces should be good. And I've got my tumbler upside down and I'm just going to use my table as like the straight guide and make sure everything is lined up. And while holding it in the middle, I'm gonna apply a piece of tape. And then make sure that everything is still good. Need to move it a little bit. So this beginning part is the most important part in making sure your seam and your images all line up around the back. Get the middle down. I'll do this bottom piece. So this is what I've got so far, and then I'm going to put just one more piece here. Probably don't need it, but just in case. So still making sure this is all lining up. So this tape is creating the hinge for us to do the hinge method. And this is the same way I would apply a vinyl wrap to a tumbler as well. Okay, so once we have it all on there, make sure your cut side is on the outside. So we're gonna lay the cut side face down. And we've got our hinge our tape right here. So make sure that's still stuck down really well. And I've got my tweezers. I'm just going to peel up a corner and I want to make sure I'm not peeling up the sticky part, just the white backing. This is a little tricky. So once you get your corner peeled up, you're gonna pull just a little bit, very gently. And we've got about an inch exposed here. So now I'm going to press down on my tumbler and use the table as kind of like my force smoothing that down. And then I'm just gonna roll. Applying pressure, 
and rolling it toward me at the same time pulling off the backing. And you can just kind of smooth here as you go. And once the tape side gets close to you, go ahead and peel that off and peel it off kind of slowly so you're not accidentally peeling up your cut pieces. You may need to hold them down too if you've got some small ones on the sides. So like here's a little piece that I pulled up so I'm just gonna hold that little guy down. Once you have all your tape off, go ahead and make sure everything is still laying down against the cup. And then continue peeling and rolling. And now we've got it all on. I'm going to smooth down this on the edges and you can see my spots are lined up here we're looking good so then I'm going to go around the top and the bottom of the cup and just make sure all that gets stuck down just moving out any bubbles Then we've got our bottom here. Smooth that out. And it'll look a little wrinkled right here, that's okay. You just want it to stick down right there. So once we've got our tape on, we can glitter. So I've got all my colors picked out already. I'm going for a Lisa Frank kind of vibe. And as always with these, we want to start with the darkest color first. So I'm going to start with my black background. which is going to be Twilight from the Glitter Guy. So what I'm going to do at this point, since I'm doing a cheat peekaboo, I'm going to peel up, instead of peeling up the spots right now, I am going to peel up the rest of the paper. So all of the background stuff. And we're going to try and go slow to not accidentally peel up any of the spots.
Okay, so I have most of my backing peeled off and I left the spots, of course. So now I just wanna to go around and double check that I didn't miss any like inner pieces of the spots and make sure nothing, none of the spots have come up from me pulling on them. So like right here, I missed a little inner spot because sometimes your paper will, will tear as you're pulling it up. Another little spot. And if everything looks good, which I think it does, we're ready to glitter. So we're gonna start with our black color. Okay, so I've got my first coat of the black glitter dry paint brush to just brush off the excess and then I am going to go around with a second coat of the black. I'm going to kind of rub this in a little bit. I don't want to I don't want to burnish it. I don't want it to look like the Tacket method. You can if you want that look, but for my particular goal here, I don't want it to look like Tacket. So I'm just going to Gently rub it, and then I'm gonna go around. Oops. Then I'm gonna go around with the black one more time. So again, I'm just gently rubbing. I'm not burnishing the glitter in like you would with Tacket Method. Just trying to get any spots that the black may not have adhered as well to it that I wanted, as well as I wanted it to. Okay, so we've got it glittered with the black and now we're gonna peel all the spots. And after I peel the spots, I'm gonna do the ombre. I've got all my colors here. I'm gonna, I don't have to go from darkest to lightest because I want them to kind of run into each other. So we're gonna tilt it and have them, you know, ombre together with the spots. I have all from the glitter guy, I have pinkle and sun coral, magic school bus, ectoplasm, mixed with an older one, blue sky, and Cheshire. So I'm coming up on my last few spots and I'm trying to make sure I'm not leaning my hand into the exposed adhesive, which is a little tricky. But you don't want to risk getting excess oils on the adhesive or like if you're like me and you've got glitter all over you, you don't want to get extra glitter stuck in those areas and once we get all the pieces off I get to go in with the different colored glitter and I am going for a Lisa Frank vibe so 
I'm going to use the neon rainbow colors and I think I'm going to do it in like a swirl pattern. But the fun thing about this is I didn't have to wait for the glitter like normally for a peekaboo you'd glitter the tumbler wait for your adhesive to dry seal that glitter wait for that to dry epoxy it wait for that to dry and a lot of times you need to epoxy it a second time because you need it to be completely smooth before you paint it before you add your decals and paint it so epoxy again sand it add decals paint it wait for that to dry and then you glitter but for this we're doing it all in one round all right so now i think i'm ready to glitter and i'm just gonna start with pinkle and try to do sort of a swirl pattern. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm trying to figure out which is the easiest way to tilt it towards me. There's my first swirl. And I'm just going to brush the excess glitter off right off onto my table because I don't want to accidentally contaminate my pink or any of my other colors with the black glitter that may fall off. And I'm trying not to brush too much on the exposed adhesive, but if I do, it's not the end of the world. And I do want a little bit to come out. Oh look, see there's a spot I missed. And another spot. I do want a little bit to come out on the edge here, because that is going to create a nice ombre look. A nice flow. Now I'm going to go in with my sun coral. And I'm turning it toward me so that the sun coral will fall into the pinkle. good so far. And I'm just going to continue to go around with each color until I'm finished. So I'm coming up towards the end for my last color. I want to fill in this spot that I missed um, with the piece that I hadn't uncovered yet. And here's another piece. And 
I want to add a little more, like a tiny bit more pink right here. And then I'll add my purple. And you can see I made a huge mess here. So that's why I was also why I was trying to tilt it toward me so I didn't dump it off of my paper. You could also just use a larger size paper. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to even out the pink that's going to be there. And then I'm going to try not to fill this entire spot. Just like half of it. And there we go. All right, so now all I have to do is dry brush it and this is ready to glitter to the bottom. There's a couple of spots that I do need to touch up with some black though, or some Mod Podge. I think I peeled up the paper and the adhesive here. And another spot. And I think I did the same thing here too. So when I'm Mod Podging the bottom, I'll just put a dab there and there. And that's it. And I'm trying not to brush this too far into the pink. I'm just kind of brushing it and also not brushing it too far into the blue. Just trying to brush it down. To where it blends a little bit at the edges, but not completely. And there it is. Cheap peekaboo, all in one go. We didn't have to wait for paint to dry, epoxy to dry. All I gotta do now, I'm gonna Mod Podge this, like I said. Once all the Mod Podge is dry, I'll spray it with some clear sealer. And once that's dry, it'll be ready to epoxy. And since this isn't um, a lot of layers of glitter and it's fine glitter, it's most likely going to be ready to decal after the first coat of epoxy. But there you go. If you try this out, I'd love to see your finished project. I'd like to do this with all different kinds of colors and styles. Um, like I said, you can find this template in my Etsy shop, Shanta's Workshop. And it is a seamless design, so other than these pieces that I actually accidentally tore up, I tore up, you can't even see where the seam is. And I do have them for all different size tumblers too. So hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this will save you some time. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>